Hey guys, I'm here in Kalihi. We're off of King Street near Waia Camilo. It is Kamenani Street, I think. And we're here at Super Q Cafe. So here we are, right across the street is Cutter 4. This is the infamous Board of Water Supply building. Let's go see. I don't know if they're even open. It didn't look open to me, but supposedly this has cheap bowls of food, milk tea, sandwiches, musubis that look really awesome. Look, they even have the prices there. $5.95 for beef stew bowl. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, they are open. It just looks closed. But here it is. Super cute. Hey. So they have like beef curry, but that's sold out already. So I got a terry chicken, a chirashi bowl. So they have like different salads, unagi bowls. They're famous for their musubis, so I got that. That looks interesting. Sandwiches, sushi. Lots of sushi if you want um, nigiri and all. I know I got scolded for pointing at something, but it's a habit. So here's another quickie and you can pause it. Since I don't really like to go through prices because people complain, but you can look at the menu yourself. They've got a little machine here. Watch out for this step here. I almost freaking ate it. It kind of um, goes upwards. So you're not looking when you're entering if you've never been here. They've got a nice area to sit and eat. And that's about it. Um, I'm gonna take it out and eat in the car, I guess, or at a park, I'm not sure yet. But right across the street is Carter Ford. And I guess you can park on the side street on Kaminani Street. So here's another look at where it is. This is the intersection of King Street and Waia Camilo. If you're wondering, why didn't I go to Superb Sushi over there? Well, they've been on my list for a long time. But every time I come here, they're never open. The gate is closed, even though it says it's open on the in, like Yelp and Google, it says 10 o'clock. So I stopped coming. I know they'd make good sushi though, but it seems like after COVID, um, they stopped doing sushi there. They just do um, parties, private parties and such, and do their sushi bar at parties and also do platters. So if you're wondering why, that's why I didn't go. I would love to have their sushi again. I've had it at a private party before and it's really, really good. So let's go find a place to eat. Okay, I got my goods. Got three dishes for you guys to see. Let's start off with the musubi. This is their fancy musubis, nice and colorful. It's a piece of avocado in there, spam, some egg, and unagi. If you don't like certain things, you can take it out. I believe there's just a spam musubi. There's a spam unagi one without egg and such. So let's open this up. Usually if it's a hot day, I don't like eating out here in the park because it is way too hot, but it's starting to look like it's gonna rain. I thought it was a perfectly overcast day, but try look. Let me turn it around. There's clouds coming in and it's starting to drizzle. So this is it. Looks delicious. Smells delicious. Mmm. Wow, that's good. It's got the sweetness. If you take a whole bite of everything, the sweetness of the unagi sauce, the yummy spam, that's savory and salty. You've got the thick piece of egg. I would say a lot of the pieces here are pretty thick. I didn't get a bite of the avocado, but I'm sure that's gonna bring in some creaminess. The rice is cooked perfectly. Let's take another bite. Not a big fan of avocado unless it's guacamole, but in this, when it melts together with all the meats and the egg and the rice, gives it a nice creamy texture. And it's good for you anyway, it's a good fat. I will say that unagi is perfect. It's nice and tender, just kind of melts in your mouth and the sauce is excep exceptional. Very, very good and the rice is perfect, like I said. Not mushy, not over hard or anything, just the perfect way you want it in a musubi. The sauce on there complements the spam, so it's almost like those spam musubis that you want with the sauce on top, the glaze 
really good. I recommend it. All right, so this is their little bowls of uh, what the food comes out in, whether you get the beef stew, which unfortunately was not available today. So if you're wanting to go there for the stew because it's super cheap, uh, you might want to call them before going there to see if they're out. But today they're out, so I couldn't show it. But this is the chirashi bowl. Let's see. I'm going to eat this one first because it has the raw fish in it and I don't want it to go bad. All right, so this is what it looks like with the cover off. Pretty amazing. Um, we'll see. I got some ahi, some salmon, some squid, it looks like, some egg, unagi, and salmon, salmon fish roe with some pickled ginger and some cucumber on a bed of rice. Um, they do give you shoyu. So I'm gonna just pour it on there and some wasabi on there. I'm just gonna put it on there and just dab some wasabi on each one because I'm hangry. It is 11.30 and I have not eaten anything all day except two cups of coffee. So it is salmon time. I will say the pieces are thin, but it is a cheaper version of it if you're on a budget. The prices are cheaper than elsewhere. Other places, like this bowl might be 20 bucks, although the cuts might be thicker, but we'll see. Nice salmon flavor. It's uh, what you'd expect from, you know, raw sashimi. The rice, again, is cooked perfectly the way you want it. Gonna try some of these salmon eggs. Nice little salty bits that pop in your mouth. Matches great with the rice. Then we got some, I'm assuming, ahi. I'm not sure if it's previously frozen or not. That doesn't matter to me because that's probably why it's cheaper. Uh, but if you go to like Foodland and Times anyway, all your poke is previously frozen. But it still tastes good, tastes fresh. There's no fishy aftertaste or weird stuff, you know. This is a really good, affordable chirashi bowl. And they've also got poke bowls and spicy ahi and all that. So you can get that as well if you don't like a certain item. But I like everything in here, so I figured I'd just get it. They have some cucumber. Mmm. Woo! That one had some wasabi on it underneath. That like cleared up my sinuses, but super good, crunchy, gives it a nice different texture, you know, because the fish is all soft. I like when people put cucumbers or some kind of pickled veg in there. This is the tamago, the egg. Nice and fluffy, not too sweet, because I don't like it too sweet sometimes. Some people put too much sugar in there. Really nice, fluffy, and just spongy and nice to eat with the rice and the shoyu. Here's a piece of the squid. You only get one piece of squid for that one, but I would imagine that's not really a popular item for sashimi anyway. I like it, but it wouldn't be the first thing I would order too, so, but it's good to have. Nice crunch, different texture as usual compared to the other fish. So that also gives it a texture contrast, which is good because the squid is crunchy when it's raw and just has that nice mouthfeel. And lastly, here is the piece of unagi. I would imagine it's the same and very good, just like in the musubi. Yep, their unagi is really good. I would get an unagi bowl, which they do have next time if I were to come back. It's really exceptional, not too sweet, has a good savory flavor. Not too salty, just breaks apart in your mouth. Goes so well with the rice, the sauce. And lastly, the shrimp. If you're not into these uh, bowls, you don't want to eat as much rice. They do do the nigiri sushis as well. All right, I'll pile with that one. Let's get to the last one. This would be my second choice because I wanted the beef stew, which was like a beef curry. But this is the Terry chicken. Now that I think about it, I should have got Terry beef because that's one of their popular specials. But he recommended it to me. I asked him if it was good. Jake, shout out to Jake, the gentleman at the front. 
who made all the food and took my order. It does take a bit of time, uh, so you definitely have to have patience. Looks pretty good. A lot of meat for the price. And this one's different. It's got uh, pickled cabbage on there as well as the cucumber. Smells fabulous. It's got some big chunks of uh, terry chicken here. Pretty good pieces. So it seems like it's chicken thigh. It's not um, dry or anything. Very moist chicken. Easy to eat. It's really delicate. It's got some green onion on there. It just falls apart when you bite it. It's not um, like something tough. Do a big bite with some chicken and rice. I'll say if you're looking for a very sweet terry chicken sauce, this is not it. But that kind of pleases me because you know that I don't like way too sweet stuff. It's got a good flavor, but it's not like super sugary or sweet like some people like it. I like it. It's a very light, uh, delicious sauce on there that's not too overpowering. I am, um, if you didn't watch my old video of what I eat every day when I'm not filming, I um, usually go on a big splurge in the summer. And sometimes, you know, when we go on vacation, but most of the time after summertime, I gain a lot of weight from eating at all the vacations we go to and I start my usual diet, which is very bland. Um, and I measure my rice intake and everything. But if you're looking for a healthy meal, um, such as me looking for that, this portion might be a little too big for me, but um, you can get like this chicken. It's tasty. It's not, um, too fattening. You've got your carbs, although I wouldn't eat this many carbs in one sitting, but it's a healthy meal that tastes good. Not too much sugar in there. And if you probably ask to take out the rice and put like pickled veg in there, you could probably make it keto if you wanted. But I think it's really good to have healthy options. And this was so cheap and it's a lot of food. Again, cucumbers, your standard cucumber. Let's try this pickled veg. It looks like um, salted cabbage. Wow, that's good. That is different. I was expecting just salted cabbage. That one had a little tinge of vinegar and a little bit of sweetness. So that is not boring because sometimes it's just the salted cabbage with no other flavors. It has a nice crunch to it still, even though it's pickled. But yeah, it's got a nice little twang to it. So gives the whole chicken dish a good vibe like something different other than the same boring taste of eating this chicken and rice. So this one, this side's really good. So if you ever pass by there, it is a old little plantation type home. I think I pointed it out in my Kalihi video. It used to be so many things. It's right on the corner where, where the bus whips around diners. Um, it's been a clothing shop or like some little boutique shop and all kinds of things over the years. And now it's finally a little cafe restaurant serving really inexpensive meals and I think it is ingenious because Farrington High School is right there. They do have signs for back to school specials so I think they're catering to the after school snack type of deal. You know like when we were kids we had the Manapua man and um, just like really simple things and nowadays kids can cross the street and go get some nigiri sushi or a terry chicken bowl or beef stew for a very minimal price and I think it's ingenious and that's great that you're feeding the kids and not really upcharging them. Um, like I said, I don't like to say prices because there's always some nitpicky person that complains it's too expensive and that's fine. I'm not forcing you to eat there but you know you just don't go there. Just don't complain. There's certain things that are expensive and certain things that are cheap but uh, this one I will just say it because it's super cheap and they need to be noticed because they're pumping out these meals for a very low price. I'm sure you saw it on the menu, but if you didn't, the stew, which caught my eye, but they were out of, is $5.99. And either they didn't make it yet um, or they're out, but I can see why they're out because that is super cheap for a whole bowl like that full of rice and some curry beef stew. And it had the potatoes and carrots in it too. Um, that terry chicken bowl, which is very massive, and I'll probably make another meal out of it later on, is only $8.99. So, that is so cheap. Of course, when you get the sashimi and the sushis and the poke bowls, it goes up a little, but it's still cheaper than any other place I've seen that's selling poke bowls. Um, so if you want to nitpick at stuff, which 
I'm not trying to make anyone look bad. It's just for the people that don't like it, and I don't want them to complain if they go there. Um, if you're a stickler about poke bowls and stuff, the hot, the rice is hot. So it kind of cooks my fish a little bit on the bottom. So you got to eat it right away. But I mean, famous people like Ono, seafood and stuff, they put their fish on hot rice um, instead of lukewarm rice. So if you don't like the hot rice, because I know some viewers don't like it, um, this place does put it on hot rice, but that's fine. Everything tasted amazing. The price is fair and the service is very friendly. So thank you, Jake, for speaking to me and telling me about your little cafe and restaurant. They also sell bubble teas and all that. They have that little machine that I showed in the beginning with the little uh, claw machine. So that totally um, appeals to all the young kids at Farrington to come after school, get a bubble tea, get a bowl of something to eat and play some games. Uh, very cute, very nice air conditioned place if you want to eat in. Very clean. You just have to realize, I don't know if somebody else comes in later on to help him, but Jake only was by himself, so you have to be patient, especially there, if there's a line of customers wanting to eat stuff. Again, patience, my friends. Uh, these people work really hard to make our food, so try to be kind. So that's Super Q Cafe. I hope you go and check them out if you're looking for something cheap to eat and something uh, healthy as well. I think pretty much most of the things on there are pretty healthy but tasty uh, meals for a very low price. And they've only been open for about three months, he said. So thank you, Jake, again. And so I hope you have a great Aloha Friday and a great weekend ahead. Thank you for joining me on this food adventure. If you like this, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and join me next week for another food adventure. I do want to check out Times Waimalu uh, and see their sushi spot. Probably similar to the Iaea one, which is much bigger, but I will try to do that, but probably after the next week because that's kind of the similar stuff of sushi and stuff. So I don't want to do two sushis back to back with uh, sashimi and all that. So look forward to that one and I'll see you again next Friday. Aloha, peace out, have a great weekend.